Hello, wildlings. I'm your creep smith, and you found my fear forge. <laughs> Lucky you. Welcome, wildlings. Today's story, Skip This Creepy Pasta, by Meek. Okay, uh, I don't have much time to explain. You have to hear me out, urgently. It's very important that you do so. I have, for the past couple of weeks, heard of something being passed around the internet. A simple message that you will stumble upon when you least expect it. According to the people that have been passing the rumors around, when you receive this message, you will die soon after reading it. Frozen with an intense look of horror on your face, staring with clouded eyes at whatever it was that attacked you. Now, as any sane person would, I believed all this to be nonsense, as you probably do too. According to the rumors, the message is similar to a virus. Unlike its more devious counterparts, the message spreads only one thing. Death. Apparently it's quite structured and concise, seemingly innocent. Uh, some have even hypothesized that the message has a consciousness as odd as that might sound. They posit that it's an entity roaming around the internet looking for human prey. It can take many forms. A post on a social forum, perhaps being read out in a video. It might even be posing as an innocent story intended to entertain or to scare its readers. It, what's so brilliant about this message is the fact that you rarely realize when you've stumbled upon it. It lures you in like prey, tricking you by conveying a feeling of trust, creating this immediate partnership with the narrator that they're looking out for you. This is not the case. You may be a quarter of the way through the message already and not even realize it. And when you do finally catch on to what's happening to you, you won't leave. You can't leave because there's some fundamental belief in humans that these things can't be real, that these demonic entities only exist in the imagination, in movies, in books, in horror films. Even those more switched on than the rest, those who do catch on quickly, will still remain, regardless, despite the warning signs. The entity has adapted itself to the human world, you see. It's listened, watched, taken in everything around it. Regarding the behavior of its prey, what do they fear? What do they seek for? What are their weaknesses? This is an attempt to form the greatest means of killing humans that it can muster. And it succeeded. The internet. What better place? Millions of people tune in every day on their phones, their computers, their laptops. And humans are stupid as well. Stupid because they won't believe in such things. They, they've been raised in such a way as to regard anything paranormal as make-believe. Like fools, they'll pass around the demonic message one to another, showing their friends how weird or, or cool it is. After all, why should you fear something if you don't believe in it? And it would blend in perfectly as well. Think of it, a message that has comments like all the rest, perhaps even a rating. A post that has likes from humans expressing their enthusiasm for it. A video that perhaps seems like any other, with a narrator that is unwittingly dooming their listeners and themselves. The prey will idiotically create the perfect disguise in this way, aiding the demonic entity in its efforts. The message itself will even use language devices to attract the prey, similar to how a carnivorous plant may draw a fly to its death. Devices such as reverse psychology are used in the title. The fact that the narrator feigns fear or panic in the first opening sentences to intrigue the listener. As the message continues, the humans will realize that the narrator is in fact the malicious entity that they'd heard about. 
you must have realized by now that this is the message. Will you leave the page? No, you won't. That's what's so fiendishly brilliant about it. A little bit more to go, and you're all powerless to leave. Powerless to stop your eyes passing from word to word. Stop listening one word to the next. You see, there's no way that humans can resist the urge to find out how the message will conclude. Even afterwards, you may still refuse to believe. You'll still cast away any fearful thoughts. This can't be real. These things are never real. It's just designed to frighten me, right? You've been occupied now for around three minutes. During that time, you've licked your lips subconsciously once. Wiped your brow, even scratched an itch on the back of your neck. Now, you didn't notice that you had done all this, but I did. How? Because I've left out the one big gap in this story. What is it that kills you? The message itself? Oh, no. The message is just a distraction. You don't notice things when you're so captivated by something, when you're staring at a screen. Your scratches and itches are one thing, but did you not see your door open briefly? Did you not hear that rustle as something slid into your room? It's already moved into position, just out of sight. It's been watching your movements for a little while now. You have until you turn off your computer, and then it'll attack. Oh, and uh, feel free to warn others about this. <laughs> Not that they'll listen. Seeing a warning that reads, leave the page now, that'll just spark their further curiosity. So stay scary, my wildlings. Good luck and make the most of your nights. <laughs>